So how have you leveraged hard science to help solve organizational stagnation um, at formerly groundbreaking companies, some of which you just named, like a BlackBerry, for example? So one of the problems that teams or companies get stuck in is they have a loon shot. They have some great breakthrough. You know, BlackBerry had the RIM, iPhone had the iPod, Nokia had its sort of first original smartphones. Even Xerox going way back had the Xerox machine, which was you know, one of the first great blockbuster uh, products. And then they, that becomes a franchise. Right. So how can they work on the next crazy idea, but also continue to deliver on that franchise? And that's where most companies stumble. They focus actually either too much on one or the other, and they need to find the balance. So understanding kind of the science of phase transitions and why companies suddenly change can help you identify how how and why you need to separate the artists working on crazy ideas from the soldiers who are delivering on the franchises, how to maintain the balance between the artists when neither one dominates the other, but you have both going at the same time. Probably, most importantly, managing the transfer between the two, because that's a failure point of innovation. So should most companies adopt like a loon shot department or just always have a group of people within a company that's always churning like that? Yeah, and that's, that's the kind of underlying idea that being good at loon shots or being good at franchisers are two totally different things. Mm -hmm. You want the artists focused on loon shots separated from the soldiers focused on franchises. I'll just give you an example, the English word risk. It's one word. You think it has one meaning, but it doesn't. To an artist, risk is a good thing. Imagine saying to an artist, you've really de-risked your art. Mm. There's no risk in your art. That's a horrific so thing. So boring. Yes. That's a horrific <laughs> thing. But imagine going, you know, a soldier who's manufacturing guns or manufacturing planes. You say you've really de-risked the manufacturing. That's a terrific thing. Mm -hmm. It's the same word. So if you have them all jumbled together and you use the same language, it's going to be very confusing for both. You want to separate them and then recognize that the big challenge is not about which project are they working on. If you have good artists and you have good soldiers, the big challenge is managing the transfer. They're speaking different languages. You need a translator. You need someone who goes between both worlds and moves ideas and projects back and forth. That's the only way to create kind of sustainable innovation and sustainable creativity. Deliver on your franchises, deliver on your crazy new ideas, and you can survive before a competitor comes up with something crazy and kills you.